On a road made of concrete Connect the soles of my feet Gotta let the story unfold I'm a road with all my people Good morning guys and welcome to Law School Vlog number 23. I just came out of the shower and now I'm going to do some reading for social and political philosophy because today is actually the last week that I have lectures because previous week my lectures uh, for my research master finished and now this week I still have my last lecture today for uh, philosophy. Of course I'm going to take you with me today. Thumbs up this video if you're excited for a new Law School Vlog. Concrete, the souls that you and I meet. Shout out to all my people. I love this. I quickly finished my hair and makeup. It's in a bun because I didn't have time to curl my whole hair. Um, but right now I'm actually leaving the house because I have uh, kind of an interview with two girls that are studying communication. I'm not sure because I got their email a very long time ago, so I kind of forgot. But they're doing research, I think, on social influencers, online influencers or YouTubers. And they reached out to me. I usually don't do this, but I want to make an exception because they also wanted to come to Groningen for me, so I didn't have to travel. So yeah, uh, I'm leaving right now because I'm a little bit late, which um, yeah, which is pretty bad. But I quickly wanted to show you my outfit. So for today's outfit, I'm wearing this top uh, or sweater from Zara. I love it. It's amazing. Uh, I think this turtleneck detailing is so cool. My bag is from Alexander Wang. It's my bae. Um, my watch is, by the way, from Michael Kors. I never tell you my jewelry, but this one is from Michael Kors and the bracelet is from the Peach Box. My pants are also from Zara and my shoes are from Alexander Wang. And I still need to get my wallet out of my other bag to put in this bag. <laughs> Yeah. Um, this is Katie. Hi. Hi. <laughs> and we're studying marketing communication. And for communication, we have to um, interview you <laughs> to see what um, what lives of uh, social influence. Okay. Cool. And uh, we're also going to have uh, some lunch together. Great. Yay. So I just uh, finished my lunch with these two. <laughs> and uh, we had a very nice review. Hopefully, everything goes go well with your research. <laughs> and um, now I'm going to go back home and study and prepare myself for the lecture. So, little update I just finished reading my um, readings for criminology. So, usually, I'm not really talking about uh, what my readings are actually about, but criminology is just such an interesting um, topic. Uh, for example, the readings that I had to do today, the article that I had to read today was about terrorism and uh, youth. Uh, there were a couple of uh, case studies about Moroccan terrorists uh, and the research was actually about why and what kind of factors played a role for them to um, escalate into uh, becoming uh, radical jihadists and that kind of stuff and I think that's just so so interesting. Uh, one of the most interesting conclusions that um, this research uh, actually came up with, uh, I think like one of the biggest factors people think leads to terrorism or to uh, becoming more radical is because they lose the connection with society. Although there are cases when that was actually the cause of the radicalization, um, it's not always that. Um, there are also a lot of cases where actually the extremist was still kind of part of a community, finished education, uh, tried to go to a higher education but failed, and still became an extremist due to motives, radical motives, and due to his connection to a certain group. And by the way, I'm talking about a very famous Dutch case, uh, Mohammed Bey. Uh, by the way, <laughs> I just quickly want to say I'm not against any religion 
any ethnicity whatsoever. Um, this is just my reading. Like previous week, we had some readings about cybercrime, which I also found very interesting. There's just so many interesting uh, topics in um, the criminology or uh, legal criminal fields, um, and I think it's just so interesting to read. all for your sweet comments on my previous vlog and uh, I'm just so happy that you understand my position like I would I already thought that most of you would but yeah a lot of you actually did as well so that definitely made me very happy <laughs> I want to clarify some of you like thought that it was super sad super stressed out I do have to say I'm not really sad I'm actually still really happy with my life and um, yeah, I'm maybe a little bit stressed out, but trust me, the worst part is still coming. But if you thought I was stressed out there, trust me, that's just nothing, because uh, I can be way more stressed out than that. I'm so happy that I can inspire you, but you definitely inspire me back, and um, I wish I could meet you all. Like, I honestly wish I could meet you all, but unfortunately that's not possible. But um, just know that I really, really appreciate you. And also, I hit the 90,000 subscribers yesterday. Hopefully, I'm going to hit the 100,000 subscribers this year. Uh, I don't know. It makes me just so excited and so happy. Um, so, yeah, I just uh, I quickly want to say that. And uh, now it's time to go to my social and political philosophy lecture. Hey guys, so I just arrived home after my lecture, which was my last lecture of the first half of the semester. This is so crazy because it means that I already finished like one fourth of the year. Um, I don't know, time definitely flies. Um, I'm going to eat this. These are uh, vegetable burgers, and this is my favorite brand, by the way. Uh, it's called Somehow, it, and you can only get it at certain Albert Heinz, which sucks. Super late for my dance class, but I just quickly wanted to show my outfit. My sweater is, I think, from Ramwi. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's from Ramwi. Maybe. Or she inside, I don't know. Um, my flannel is from H&M, my leggings are from H&M, and my shoes are just Adidas, Adidas, Adidas? Adidas white, um, superstar. So, uh, and I usually don't like going to dance class with a bun, because always, um, yeah, my hair is way too thick to be dancing in a bun, but um, yeah, I didn't do my hair. Now I'm quickly going to check my uh, weekly planner um, for today, what my schedule was for today, um, because um, yeah, this is actually my own planner, my supply daily desk planner. I think most of you know. You can still order it, by the way, if you wanted to. I'll put a link uh, in the description box and also here. Um, I also quickly wanted to say, although this is a 2016-2017 edition, you can use it whenever you want because there are no dates in the planner. So, so I already crossed a couple of things off, but I also had my lecture for today and I went to dance class. I also did my reading and I had an interview and I made some pictures for my blog. And the only things that I have to do today are the criminal summary of week 3 that I need to do. That's why I'm going to the university library and I also need to write a blog post.
that's why. And the party's just beginning. The place is jumping. What a lovely scene. Gotta let you know. Let you know the deal. Hey guys, so I just came back uh, from chilling at, uh, well, not chilling, actually studying at the university library. And um, yeah, I had a pretty productive day. So I guess it's time to end this vlog right now. If you liked it, please thumbs up this video. Also, let me know in the comments below what kind of activity makes you very happy during the day. Did you really get that very pumped feeling that I have right now? Um, don't forget to subscribe to my channel because I really want to hit 100,000 subscribers this year. And I'm so close right now. So, I don't have anything else to say. Have a fucking amazing day. And I'll talk to you later. Bye, guys. And the party's just beginning The place is jumping What a lovely scene